So we got Fantina coming up. Okay, cool. There's the French maiden. All right, let's do it. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Finally, you have arrived. I don't know. I don't know what accent that is. Finza came to blah, blah, blah. Let's just, let's just, let's just full send it. Yeah. All right. Here's the play. This Drifloon likes passing off its boosts to Miss Magius. So all we do, because it's a female Drifblim and we are a male Umbreon, is we captivate the sucker to lower his special attack. So he's at plus one special defense. He's gonna be at minus one special attack now. Go again. Goes for air slash, kind of annoying. But now he's at minus three. We just gotta watch out for crits on this. It looks like air slash. I guess we can check that calc. So air slash crit does at most 48 damage. So as long as we're over 48 damage, we're fine. So it's at plus two. Uh, sorry, it's at minus two. Now it's at minus four. Okay, it's at plus minus three. So now it's at minus five. So eventually this thing will baton pass. Um, if not, I guess things get interesting. <laughs> but it should, it should baton pass. Yeah, so there it goes. So it's gonna bot baton pass to Miss Magius because Miss Magius has a uh, stab dazzling gleam. So this thing is actually at minus six now. Now, this is awesome because this thing is just gonna wanna calm mind itself up. So what we can do is we can switch to Torterra who has shell armor, which means he never, excuse me, she never gets crit. So see, that does a cute amount of damage, right? So that now allows us to set up a rock polish. So we outspeed. And then we just need one sword stance. So um, the one issue is this, this bayonet as Sha Sucker Punch. So we just need to make sure that Torterra does not get into Sucker Punch range, which does 33 damage. So we've got a few more to go, fortunately. We can Swords Dance here once. We now outspeed everything because Miss Magius is her fastest Pokemon and we're good to go. So there's no reason to not just go for Bullet Seed, especially because Bullet Seed can not technically kill this um, if we get only two. But if we get three, it should be a guaranteed kill here. I forgot about the citrus berry, so maybe not actually. So that's good. That's good. Yeah. Okay, interesting. So actually, if we didn't get this to minus three or minus six, this could have been kind of bad. Like if it only went to minus four, I don't know. I don't know. It, it's probably it was probably fine. We would have needed to switch potentially after the big on. Weird. Weird. Whoa, really weird. Really weird and also really bad. Wait, wait, this is really bad. Because we don't have a good way to hit this. That's really weird. And this thing has levitate. So it's gonna go for Sor uh, Shadow Ball here, or Sludge Bomb, most likely. It could go for Shadow Ball um, if it gets the roll. But so Shadow Ball should never kill this. Sludge Bomb does at most 64. So it's kind of safe, but it could just burn us. And then we start running into issues. Um, it looks like though, if we get plus three with Bullet Seed, it might be okay. So I, I don't know what's going on, folks. This is really weird. That's really weird. I have no idea what she's doing. This is actually really good though, because she does not get the Salic Berry. Okay, this unfortunately does kill though. We have to go back to Umbreon and just redo it. That's so bizarre. That's really f weird. So the plan now is, I don't know. I guess we'll see what this dumb thing does. <laughs> it might just go for air slashes for a while. I don't know. It's a minus four now. But yeah, we can we can wish passion to tort after 
if it doesn't baton pass here in a second. The issue is that we still have to set up, this thing is going for air slashes, and then we don't have a great way to hit this either. Okay. And then the, the stupid berry gets activated. But so this is at minus, it was minus four, and then, so it's at minus five now. So I wanna wish. Air Slash does 12 to 18% to Torterra this way. So I'm gonna captivate it again to get it to minus six. Not how I was expecting this to go, but it seems like it's fine. Also, we are not getting flinched at all. It's kind of cool. Um, okay, well, let's go back to Torterra now, at, at the very least, to get the wish off. This is really weird, man. Shell armor makes this totally safe. I can Swords Dance four times. It's a minus, it's a minus four right now. All right, well that's, that's fine. Ah, sh oh no, 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 this is fine. This is fine. That's a really weird, weird choice, buddy. It's a, a really weird choice, but it works out. So we can just Earthquake it now. <laughs> That, that, okay, 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 okay. Okay, well we win now, but because now we get crunch. But that was really weird, man. It was real weird. Okay, well, Drift Blim, I think, I think your time is, is up. <laughs> get, get out of here. I don't know. I don't know, man. That was, uh, that was bizarre. It was a weird one, but we, we got it. Better than last time. Making sure it doesn't have sh uh, cursed body. I don't think that's a thing here. Oh, we are going to super over level. Probably should have gotten something with an EXP share. Cause like theoretically now, if we want to be strict with the uh, the level cap, Torterra can't be used against Barry in the next rival fight or Mars, I mean the uh, the backlot fight, but pretty fast and loose with that stuff anyways. Did Fantina take a Mon last run? Yes, she did. She killed my Bibarrel because um, it, was, it was kind of a sloppy play, but essentially we used Swords Dance to get to plus six. Um, by doing this same Captivate thing. And then we killed, essentially essentially a plus six Aqua Jet. It was a really bad bit barrel. So a plus six Aqua Jet didn't kill the, um, the Drift Blim that came in after that. Then it, um, <laughs> then it Salic Berry or it's like random, I, I don't, Starf Berry, is it a Starf Berry? It activated, it gave it a plus two boost to special attack, which caused it to kill us. A little series of unfortunate events there, but I definitely did not play that optimally. See you, Miss Magius. Great. Level 36, Jesus. Okay. Look, it's the regular level that starters should evolve. Not questioning it, though. The start of that battle from attempt one was pretty funny. Yeah. <laughs> well, there it goes. It, it was deathless. Hey. <laughs> wow, I can use defog out of out of battle. Thanks so much, Fantina. Awesome. Um, okay, so there's a berry fight next. All right. I think we're good to go. What's up, B-Re? All right, Staravia's out first. Probably gonna go for double team. We're just gonna click Shockwave. Oh, we're faster than it. Okay, and then we should have done Discharge. Whoops. Whatever. Um, because I, I think this kills though. Yeah, bye. Okay, cool. Heracross, um, right, because it's not going to go Piplup because it's no longer fire type. Oh, well. Uh, so I imagine you're going to go knockoff, which was a reason I should have gone. I should have gone nothing on this. I did. I made this mistake last time. I made this mistake last time. Knockoff does double damage or it's not double damage. It's like 1.5 damage, but still.
Yeah, it's fine. It's got a Koba Berry, so this won't kill, but then another one will. That makes no sense. But you do you, Barry. Snorlax. Um, so presumably this goes Rock Slide. It goes Body Slam. I don't think that even matters. Uh, we can just... Actually, it should go Body Slam. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I could see either. Okay, good. They'll do very cute damage. It's actually not zero damage. Wow. Oh, because it only resists it once. Okay, okay, that's fine though. Just let's avoid some paras as we do Rock Smash here. You know, you can do that all you want, Chief. I do not care about that in the slightest. Let's get a defense drop and then we're good to go. There we go. So now Brick Break always kills. Got the Lumberry in case he goes for Body Slam and we get paralyzed. Oh, you sweet summer child. <laughs> Man, Barry, I can't believe last attempt you killed my Raichu. Oh, it's like it carried away. Runs not, or game's not over yet. Still got a stupid Piplup. Uh, might go for Icy Wind, I guess, which is annoying. Scald, crit, high roll kills here, so he can't stay in. Otherwise, it would make sense to stay in. We can just go to Pineapple Duck thing. We got the Lumberry in case this burns, which it does. Um, okay, now we just fake out. Because why not? I don't think this kills. Excuse me, I don't think this kills, but... Maybe. No, oh, what do I know? Cool. Barry, that was abysmal. Abysmal showing on your part. You really got to do better in this uh, 2v2 we got coming up. Okay, so now it's time for the backlot fight. <laughs> So for those of you who don't know or who didn't see it the last time, the issue here is that we have to do a double battle with Barry against Backlot and Saturn. Fortunately, they only have three Pokemon apiece. So there are six Pokemon that we have to fight and Barry does have four. So we have a slight advantage there as well. All right, here goes nothing, yeah? All right, Barry, help me out here, buddy. Just don't attack my Pokemon. That'll be a good start. The Wigglytuff and Bronzong. Staravia. Hit into the Wigglytuff. Don't use double team. I know you want to use double team. Don't use it. See, that's why you don't use double team, you stupid idiot. That's why we have the Lumberry. Well, okay, so Barry got three Pokemon. I believe now the Heracross is gonna come out. Ooh, that does not do a lot of damage. And I got Cute Charm Infatuated, are you kidding? Ugh. Okay, okay. I see you. That should do a lot. Wow. That's fine. Um, I imagine Espeon comes out here next. And it's gonna just outspeed the Heracross. Is that a crit? Jesus. Okay, so Espeon's definitely killing the Heracross. So he always kills Heracross here. Okay, so I think it makes sense to go to Wormadam here. Schnitzel's kind of donezo. Yep, all right. Um, you did you did fine, Heracross. Um, Snorlax would be really chill here. That's not gonna do a lot of damage. Barry, bring out Snorlax. There's no reason for you to not bring out Snorlax. And you're gonna body slam into the Espeon while I protect. Damn! The the prediction! What a savage. So this thing is probably going to confuse the Snorlax. Ah, oh, okay. That's fine. That's fine with me. 
What? Snorlax? Like, I mean, I guess, I guess predicted. Good job, I guess. Oh, you got a citrus berry? Yummy, yummy. Nom, 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 nom. Uh, uh, don't crit, don't crit. This will do a decent amount of damage. Nom, 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 nom. Thank you for the citrus berry. Nom, 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 nom. All right, body slam it. Body slam it, big boy. Berry. Berry. You absolute dickweed. <laughs> so it's kind of smart to protect here. The issue is that I don't trust Barry to not click Amnesia again. Espeon could protect. I think I have to protect here. Yeah, because Espeon's going to protect. So just go for Hypnosis onto Avocado here. I mean, you can go for another Amnesia if you want. Oh, look, they're speed tied. Yeah, perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. So if I want to be cheeky, I can read into Snorlax hitting Body Slam on Espeon and attack the Bronzong. But I don't want to do that because he's Barry. I could go for the double protect. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Don't... Ah, damn. That was the downside. Oh, confused me. Okay. All right, Snorlax. Oh, good job, Barry. Good job, Barry. So proud of you. You unstoppable moron. Last one is Raichu. Okay, so I'd imagine the Raichu is going to want to fake out into Snorlax and the Bronzong is going to want to Zen Headbutt into it or Confusion it. So I think it's safe to go to Udon here. I guess the Raichu could Thunderbolt Udon, but yeah. Hey, good job, Chief. Okay, so um, now we just uh, Giga Drain the Raichu. Oh, I forgot it at Dieter Dance. You dick. Come on, Udon. Come on, Udon. Just hit through this. We just need a double hit through this. What a psychotic, psychotic move. Just absolute, like, chaotic evil. Or chaotic neutral, I guess. Just hit it. Okay. Okay. Okay, good job, Barry. Double para? Para? Para, para twice? Hurt yourself in confusion, you big dumb dolt. Dang it. Is that going into Snorlax? Um, that's okay with me. So I think, unfortunately, Raichu definitely goes for Thunderbolt here. I could go, I could go into Umbreon, actually. Actually, there's no reason not to go into Umbreon. Yeah? Give Snorlax a chance to wake up. That's unfair. Okay, so it was totally safe to stay in there. Oh, you animal. All right, Barry. Well played, buddy. Well played. You son of a gun. You did it. You broke through confusion. You broke through paralysis. Amazing. Yeah, and flinch. Dear Lord. Freaking animal. What a freaking fracking animal. Um, let me just think if there's a smart thing to do here. I don't think Udon is helpful. So I think Eclair is the right move. That's gonna bait out um Toxicroak. Is this a two shot by any chance? Hell yeah it is. Eclair, you beast. This Snorlax is completely undeterred, 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 whatever. Is there a reason to have Moonlight and Wish? Wish is good for passing, Moonlight is better for stalling. But yeah, um, I can always get rid of Moonlight for Protect if I need it. Does it make sense to switch there? Eh. Snorlax said Paralysis. Yeah, okay, so um, this is definitely killing Snorlax, but there's literally no reason to risk it going for Drain Punch onto Eclair instead. Um, but this is definitely just gonna kill Snorlax. It's kind of okay to 
to stay in here if we want. Uh, it's actually got fake out, so it could also fake out into Snorlax, but I think it'll just go for the kill. So there's no reason not to go to Crobat. This is this is over. This this actually went perfectly. I can only assume that Crobat has nasty plot. <laughs> How do you know if it will go for Snorlax? Um, I'm almost positive it goes for the kill when it sees the kill. So it very likely saw the kill with Drain Punch on the Snorlax and went for that. Drain Punch is not a kill on Umbreon unless it crits. And I've seen conflicting stuff about this, but I don't think that I don't think that Crobat or sorry, I don't think that AI sees crits. All right, Prinplup. I mean. I guess. You could have just aerial ace to kill it, but you didn't see the kill because I hadn't done the damage yet, so I understand it, but they never expect Nasty Bat. There's a bunch of special Crobats in this game, actually, I think. Like, Cyrus's Crobat is special. Um, okay, so again, this likely goes for uh, Ice Beam. Uh, so let's go into Unagi here. Did we do the win in specific turns battle? Yes, we did. Oh! Man, Barry just... Or to go for Signal Beam, I don't know. Maybe this is kills. It's really weird. All right, Barry. All right, Barry, hats off to you, Barry. Thanks for being so agreeable. That could have gotten really bad really quick if Snorlax missed a couple body slams. You kids are tough. Wow. Here we go. Moment of truth. Do we get Pichu? Or do we get Happiny? Happiny would be interesting. Ew! What the hell, man? An Iglypuff? I'd rather have nothing. It was a waste of a Pokeball. One ball HG. Woo, we got a Wigglypuff. Ah. I mean, Wigglytuff is at least buffed. What damn food is this? Turnip? <laughs> I do like me just a turnip. So I don't think it's worth it to get an encounter here. I personally want to save the encounter for 210 South because I think there's some interesting folks down there. 212 South has potential for Krogunk, Grimer, Coughing, Ekans, Arbok, or Toxicroak. And I feel like that's better than 212 North, which I could either get Roselia, Gloom, Curlia, or Smeargle. Or I could do a Honey Tree. I don't know. I don't love of anything on this route. So I think we save for 212 South because Krogunk is 25% with the Toxic Croak. Oh, wait. Let's take a look at Turnip. Cool. Oh, and it's Cute Charm instead of Magic Bounce. Lame. All right. All right. All right, one ball HG. The ultimate test. Yes. One ball, baby. Woo. All it took. Okay. Um, what's the name of this little, little bug? Oh, wait. If it ain't broke, you know? Okay. That's an amazing nature. It's amazing. It's good to see. And Serene Grace. I think, honestly, I would, um, I would prefer Natural Cure, but that's fine. Both of these natures are pretty good. 